Don't do that to me this early. Please don't. <laughs> it's too early in the day for this. It's never too early to laugh. Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. I'm here with my daughter. Hi. And we just had a big birthday. We just turned 14. We, I say we, but it's Ava, just turned 14. And I promised her years ago that when she was 14, she could wear makeup. She's always wanted, and so occasionally, occasionally, <laughs> I let my girls play in my makeup stash, but I'd say only these things and not these. <laughs> Um, because when you're a kid, you don't realize how expensive it is. But today, Ava and I went to Ulta and you spent nearly $100. Okay. And so you spent your own money. And since you spent your own money, you're like, uh, precious, and we will be very careful. <laughs> so we oh, thought yeah. it would be fun to share the experience of me helping my daughter really try on makeup for the first time. So the one thing Ava mentioned was she wanted some brushes. I'm like, don't buy any brushes. You can have all the ones that I have, like, I don't know, maybe 10 times more than just this, plus, oh, maybe more than that. But these are the ones that I have accumulated over the years. Some of them are super nice. Some of them came in boxy charms. Some of them came in Ipsy bags. And they're a great place to start without having to spend any money. So she said she wasn't going to, like, don't that, I'll take care of you. The other thing Ava didn't get is there's a couple of complexion products here. We couldn't find anything. I have a hard time getting a concealer at the drugstore because I'm so fair and she's even lighter than me. <laughs> so we have opted to start off with the Glossier Stretch Concealer. She uses the same shade I do. So since we didn't order it soon enough, I scraped some out of here into a little tin for her that she can use until her order comes. So we're gonna start with concealer today. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you a glowy, is this energizing? Yes, put a little, very small amount of this. She's not a primer gal, but we're gonna put a little bit of primer on the face because I feel like her skin's dry. <laughs> I like that you're just dotting, okay. Not, not all over your hands, on your fingertips. Okay, yeah, you're good. And then just start spreading it everywhere, yep. Rub it in like you're putting on skincare. Sunscreen. Yes. That was the other thing, is I told you years ago, you were like 11 or 12, when can I wear makeup? I said, not until you have an established skincare regimen and that you wear sunscreen daily. So that's one of the things. Since that, December, I have been militant about that. It's like every single day, morning and night. I had to have, have sticky notes everywhere for the first couple weeks, but then we're good. Yes, because I want her to have good skincare habits before we get into makeup. Because makeup can exacerbate acne or you know uh, problems with the skin if you just gotta be good about washing it off every night. And so she was washing her face every night just to get the sunscreen off. That was my kind of making sure she would never fall asleep in makeup. Mm -hmm. And I already have really dry skin, so I don't need more skin problems. <laughs> exactly. All right. So let's start with this. We have a little bit of this in here. You won't need anywhere near this much. I think this might be helpful. Um, I'm going to get just a little bit on the brush. And then you can tap this underneath your eyes and anywhere else you feel like you want some coverage. Hold them here. Hold them here. And, okay, there, so people can see. There we go. What I like about the stretch concealer, I thought it'd be the perfect place for Ava to start, would be just so that it would, because um, if you use it with just your fingers, you can do that too. Can I just use my fingers? Yeah, <laughs> so you can use your fingers if you want. We talked about it, and we we're going for a no makeup makeup, but we have all the makeup too, so I think we have whatever we want eventually. Okay, turn and look at me. This side is a little bit. Okay. Okay, what else do you want to conceal? So oh. the giant zit on my face. Let's yes, get rid of that. Yes, let's, let's get rid of that. We need a tiny brush for this. The tiniest of tiny brushes. I'm gonna give you this little brush here. Okay, it looks like a little paddle. We're gonna pick up the smallest amount of this. Mm -hmm. And I want you to not, okay, that's too much. Too much. Lightly tap it over just that area. Lightly, lightly. Yep. Okay, now stop and blend with the warmth of your finger. Do you need to add any more? You want to keep it just as much as possible on that one area. This is called pinpoint concealing. Ava didn't buy powder today. I told her I had so many powders at home. Please don't buy one. This is one from Cover FX. This is the perfect setting powder. I love this powder, but I just really wasn't using it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it went everywhere. <laughs> 
Okay. I think I just inhaled it. Oh, lovely. Sorry, baby girl. <laughs> but let's, okay, let me show you just so you know for later. The idea was to get a small brush like this. You're gonna use what's left over in the cap. You get the smallest amount, and then you're gonna tap it on the rim to make sure there's no, see all the powder oh, that's falling wow. out of there? You don't want that much. The other thing you could do is you could tap it on the handle so the powder falls down into the bristles. And then, just a real light, the lightest amount, just to make sure that your under eye is set so that if your mascara ever touches down here, it doesn't instantly start to melt into your face. Since Ava has dry skin, I'm not gonna add powder anywhere else because that's just gonna make her tighter, drier, and feel less comfortable. I feel like 10 minutes before I have to get in you the car. You won't have time for all this. Yeah, and I, I can live without the powder. Yes, you, if you're gonna wear mascara, always set your under eye or if the mascara touches here to down here and you have a creamy under eye cream on or a creamy concealer, pretty soon you'll have smudges down here. You don't want to look like a raccoon or a panda. No raccoons. No raccoons, no, no pandas. Okay, no that, that's why you have this little tiny brush for the lightest amount, just a I got the Pacifica Fluffy Blushy Cream Blush in the shade Bloom. I have been curious about these and I have, only oh, moved my drink out of the way here. And I have, ooh. It comes sealed. How interesting. I'm playing in all your toys. You're like, give me my toys, mommy. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you're right. All right, here's, here's what I suggest. I love using a synthetic brush for cheap products that are cream or liquid. So this is gonna sound scary. Scary? Oh no. Because you're gonna take this and you're gonna literally just stamp it in here and it's gonna look like there's a lot on there. It looks so pretty. <laughs> it did, it did, not anymore. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bounce it off on the back of your hand. See how we're getting this sort of a, okay? So you're gonna pick up some of this. Blush placement is interesting. If you do like the apples of your cheeks, it's gonna look very youthful and childlike. If you wanna look a little bit more sculpted, you're gonna to wanna to go from here up this way. If you go too low. It's gonna look like you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> or like, I don't know, some people flush, like you and I both flush very much right in here. If you want to accentuate the natural flush that we get here, drag your blush down. I would say start here, not too close to the nose. There's a there's like a two finger rule. So I would, if that helps you, and then start, start here and going up this way. Okay. okay. That's really pretty. This is what it looks like, by the way. I'm gonna do a heavier swatch of it. This is, I feel like you don't, you can't really too heavy swatch this. This can't be built up too much. It's really pretty, oh, it's so pretty. You could probably easily use your fingers or a sponge. I just like the way that something like this helps to kind of diffuse it for you. Ooh, really nice. Missy, turn this way. I, feel like I think you, like you have a little bit, if you look in the mirror, you have a little bit here. And I don't know if that's your natural rosiness coming through or whether it got stuck in one spot. So maybe try and bring it down this way a little bit. Mm -hmm. And if you want, you can stop using the brush, use your hand, and blend out the parts that you don't like. Let me see. Hey, you don't, I don't drag, I need to. I don't want it to be so blushy. So what, what I do is I stamp it, and then I use my fingers to blend. That helps sometimes. Oh, how pretty! Oh my girl! You look so good! Well, either way, even without blush, I still look like I'm blushing constantly, so... That's okay. Thank you for that genetic thing, mommy. You're welcome, my love. Every single time a boy talks to me, they think, does she like me? Seriously. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They can wonder all they want, and you know who you like and who you don't, and whether you're blushing because they've got something green between their front teeth and you're embarrassed for them. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be something you would do. <laughs> okay. I forgot what Ava doesn't remember what things are. I'm just going to show you. I told her, she said, I want to highlight. I said, I know exactly what to get you because they're not too expensive. She was spending her own money. And we got her a ColourPop. There we go. Super shock. This is one of my favorite shades. This is the shade Lunch Money. I literally have one in my drawer right here. But Ava's is perfect and fresh and juicy. And with this, here's what I recommend. You just kind of lightly rub your fingers over it. Mm -hmm. And then you just tap it on. Remember, like if you're looking at your face, it's going to be... Uh, you're gonna if the light is shining on you you're gonna get a little light here on the bridge of your nose right here so like you don't want it too close here you want it right here and here 
I wouldn't put any on the tip of your nose. Okay. Your nose is going to be a little shiny on its own if you want just a little bit on the cupid's bow. Okay. And I would, just because it always helps to lift, you see where the arches are? Just a little tippy tap here and then blend it out. Oh, Light okay. around the eyes, uh, on the bridge of your nose, like and right here. right here. And go. Your hand that was not using blush. What does not? That's not enough. Lily. Lily. Yes, That's yes, yes I, I am Lily. Okay, so you she's she's gently doing this. No, no, no. You gotta you gotta do this. Can you put No, that's not, that's not. Look at this. And then if you want to start blending a little bit on the back of your hand and then start Is better? Well, I don't know, is it? Are you, okay. are you gonna do it without a mirror? No, that's I need, bold. I need, I need the mirror. Get you get a blend. You gotta blend. This stuff will set. I'm sorry, I'm using your makeup too. I like this stuff. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> Did you see that side eye she gave me? Not as if you're not going to come in here and borrow mine. I know what's going to happen. Yes, but I, I have a lot less than you. I am I poor in the world of makeup. Don't worry. I loan things out to you. The other thing is sometimes when I put a highlighter on, I feel like I just lost some blush and I feel like you did over here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of blush. Sometimes I'll put a highlighter on first and then blush over the top. Okay. And these are both, both this formula and the other one I think would be good for kind of like just doing with your fingers in a flash if you don't want to use a brush, but if you want kind of an easier, fast application, fingers work just as well. How, what do you think? I think it looks crazy. I think it does too. All right. The one thing that we haven't done yet, and you don't have anything for brows, do you? I don't, my brows don't need much. My brows are... They, they need to be groomed. So are, yes. you, are you just going to brush them up? Yeah, brush Do you want a clear brow gel? Oh, I should go grab my pre-existing brow gel. Let's just use what I have here. Ava already has a clear brow gel for her eyebrows. So brush yours up and then we'll run some of this. This, by the way, is the Rose Ink. What is it? Brow. I forget what it's called. I'll put it in the description bar down below. Her eyebrows are the eyebrows of my dreams. I love all of her little fluffy spikies right there at the beginning. Sprouts, that's my favorite. Okay. There's one side that don't worry, is very don't worry. voluminous and one side that okay. the one thing does about, not like me. That I think is good to do is, this sounds weird, is to back comb. Because this will get product on both the front and the back side. And then as you go up, you can just lay it exactly where you want. What do you think? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> is it too much? This is clear. So there's this is just your own brows. Here, let's see. You were so patient with me. It's kind of, I'll tell you, it's awkward at this angle. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're fine, Libby. I tried to be less awkward. It's not you, it's just the filming space. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> wow. I love your eyebrows, I love your eyebrows. Just so you know, this, if you leave it open, will dry out and it will die. So we don't want to leave it open. You must always close cream products, concealer, products that come in pots, always close them. If you leave an eyeshadow open or a powder blush open, it's not the end of the world. You wanna talk about the eyeshadows that you got? Okay, yes. Okay, so I have a That's Taupe eyeshadow palette from ColourPop and I- Let's it, open it up and show the people what it looks like. I have been eyeing this one for so long, so I may have to borrow it. So, ooh, ooh. let's take this off too. Ooh. Ava's it's learning all the ways of YouTube and you're gonna to wanna to there you go. Mm -hmm. Nice up close shot of this. Mm -hmm. So I think I probably got this because it was the, the one that was the most neutral. I know that makes me sound boring, but no, 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 no. It's a good place to start. I don't have the confidence for bright, flashy eye makeup yet. We'll get there if you want to. And if you don't, that's fine. And then I have like this elf, like kind of like bite size eyeshadow, bite size eyeshadow. It's the very bad. Color, so. I thought that these colors, these kind of rusty warm tones would look beautiful with her blue eyes and that it was three dollars. It's a great way to try color and be a little bit more adventurous without like breaking the bank. And <laughs> I really love the formula of these guys. I think they're so good. But let's do something really easy. Let's do a two shadow look today. Okay. Okay. And let's use this guy right here. Yay. Okay. So we're going to start with this one here in the middle. That's Pebble Beach. You're going to want to see how there's a lot of powder on here. Tap it off. You're gonna to wanna to tap it off, or you're gonna see all of that, see all of this? That's fallout. You don't want that on your cheeks after you've done them. Some people do their eyes first. Grab your mirror. Mm -hmm. 
meter meter on the well, not on the wall, but in my hand. Okay, let me show you real quick. I'm not. I don't have anything on this, but you, it's a fluffy brush like this, right? You're gonna take it, and you're going to. Oh, I have makeup in places I don't need it. You're gonna you're gonna kind of raise your eyebrow a little bit, and you're gonna put it here, and you're gonna concentrate like halfway. You see where your pupil is? I wouldn't go beyond there and I would kind of work it in through here. Get most of the color on the outside edge and then start blending. You, you don't have a lot on there, that's fine. I will repair my eyeliner damage? situation. Oh, I'm sure you're gonna say I'm gonna repair any damage that gets done. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. I'm I'm oh, I'm a mess. Let's see if I can do the other side and then You know what I like to do, sweetie? When I'm picking stuff up, I like to, uh, look at this. So I'll hold it here mm -hmm. and then I'll hold it here. If you're, if you're going across your eye like this, it's going to be a lot harder than if you, you keep this and you go like this. And then on the other side, you move your arm across your body as opposed mm -hmm. to moving the brush like this, which would be a little bit more awkward. See how it makes your eyes pop the blue? Brown is great for blue eyes. Okay, so close your eyes, and now we're just gonna fluff it around really softly. Fluffy! And I know you're gonna want this brush and you can't have it because it's Sonia G. You may buy your own Sonia G brushes. You may not steal mine. I draw the line there. Wait, I, let me guess, around 30, $35? Probably for one brush. Ha! But they're Japanese handmade natural hair brush. They're beautiful, they're beautiful. They feel beautiful. They do. We're going to be using this one here. This one's called Snake Eyes. So you're going to use your finger. This is where you want to use your ring finger. Ring finger. Because uh, we're on our eyes. We don't mm -hmm. want to stretch anything out. And you're going to pick up a little bit of it like this. And then you're going to start tapping. Or you can you, you can start going like this. And then once you start getting out to the edge, tap. I'm just showing her hair in my hand. Okay. Tap a little bit. So grab a little bit of that. And here just, we go. The one thing with Sparkle, you're going to want to keep it just on the part. Okay, stop before we start. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't give you enough instructions. All right, so when you're putting um, something that's shiny on your eyelid, you want to usually keep it to the mobile part of the lid, meaning like where that crease is and down okay. towards your lashes. Um, don't go too close to the inner corner. I think we'll want a lighter shade there. And don't go too much farther out here because the idea is from the corner of your eye to the tail of your brows, you want to keep your eyeshadow from that line up if you're doing just the top. You don't want to like smoky lower do you I don't know what do you want you want less is more right yeah. okay so just a little bit of that tap it on the center of the lid and then just start tapping out and see where you go oh nope that's okay it's okay it blends it blends let me see me. okay okay <laughs> me. I, I love you my girl you're so you're so afraid let's use this yes, yes I am I'm gonna use this little brush here I'm gonna grab a little bit of this this might make it easier for you. Okay, watch what I'm doing in the mirror. Watch what you're doing in... Farther down so people can see what we're doing too. Okay, so close your eye. Keep one open and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this eye. So I'm going to start here and we're just going to pat it on. Okay. And we're going to take it out to the outside edge. What do you think? We like it. All yes. right, so I'm going to load up your brush. Sparkle is what you don't want below your eye. Now you do the other eye the same way. Go on. Take your mirror, you're good. <laughs> sure, we're good. You just got sparkle in my eye. <laughs> Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. Just wait till you poke yourself with mascara or eyeliner in your eyeball and then you blink and you get it everywhere. <laughs> and you have to be somewhere in five minutes. <laughs> this, oh, it's like when we were little. The struggle is real. <laughs> oh man. Okay, you're fine, you're fine. You're, oh, it looks so pretty, my girl. Do you want to tackle Maybe eyeliner today? A little bit. A little bit. Let, let, let's get a grounding in everything, and then I can decide what I will and will not do when I have 10 minutes and I have to be in the car. Ava was asking about an eyeliner, and I don't know a lot about drugstore liners, but I have been using, this is the one I'm wearing today, the NYX Epic Wear, so she picked one up for herself. All right, so with this, I'll, I'll show you with mine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would definitely be a look. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this, in your dominant hand, you're left-handed, I'm right-handed, so we're sitting on the wrong side of each other here. But you're gonna wanna take it and you're gonna wanna point it down. And I would say, if you start all the way on the inside corner, and start, you're gonna end up with too much mascara, I mean, too much eyeliner. So you're gonna start probably in the middle and you're gonna do, instead of um, like one giant 
you're going to do little strokes because you can see how you can, you know, connect the lines. Mm -hmm. I'm just showing here on the back of my hand is that you can continue to connect the lines. And then if you don't like the, if, if the line, you see how we have some interruptions in the line, you can always take an eyeliner brush like this and blend. And blend. Oh. That's why I gave you one of these. Okay. Because that way when I make a terrible mistake, it will fit Yes, anywhere. it will. But this will set and it won't budge. Okay, so so you wanna you wanna blend it while it's still like after about thirty to forty seconds. That's all she wrote, and then either you have to take it off, or you have to get creative mean... and wear more eyeliner than you intended. And that is also another thing that will happen and you will learn about. Okay, go. Okay. So I would start like kind of like right above where the pupil is, and start dragging out, and don't go past the end of the lash line because you want a natural look. You're so hesitant. Yes, I'm hesitant. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, come here. Come here. Close your eye. You want to keep it as close to the lash line as possible for a natural look. Because we're just trying to make the lash line look a little bit deeper. Okay, let's see. Open up. Take a look. What do you think? Okay. Do you want more liner than that? You know, I just think it's a little bit... It's okay for you to be over here. critical of your mother. That's fine. It won't hurt my feelings at all. I don't like your tones. <laughs> I deserve that. What happened? <laughs> I blinked. I blinked. Oh, okay, close your eye. Close your eye. It's okay. See how your lash line looks just a little bit darker? Mm -hmm. That's what eyeliner is for. This side is okay. more than the other. Okay. It's time for, here, I'll talk about this. You curl your lashes. We already explained how the lash curler works. But Ava picked up this one from Wet n Wild. This was like under $4. This is like $3.50. Yes. So you're going to go as close as you can without catching any skin. And then you're going to give it a bounce a couple of times. Oh, help me. <laughs> no, it's not going well. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I love you. Oh, help me. I, I, I need it at this point. You're doing great, my love. You're doing great. You're doing much better than I did when I wore makeup for the first time. I told Ava to not spend too much money on mascara because the ones from Essence are amazing. This was like $4.99, so a $5 mascara. Mm -hmm. And here's here's what I'm going to recommend. You're going to open it up. I okay. have... Yep. I'm going to use this to show you. There always... Anytime you pull it out, you see that little bit on the end? If I were you, I would wipe that off inside here because the last thing you need is to be wiggling and then to get the inside corner of your eye with that. Make sure that, yes. Okay, so now, uh, put the tube down, grab the mirror, and you're gonna start, I would start at the outside edge and you're gonna get as close as you can without poking, myself poking yourself. And then you're just gonna start and then you can wiggle it through as you blink. It's okay. Okay, don't 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 smudge it now. Let it dry. It'll flake off completely once it's dry, and you won't even notice. There you go. Yes. You'll get better. Oh wow, you have the longest lashes, like your daddy. I only hit you a little bit for that. You got the best genetics, my girl. The best brows, beautiful lashes. I can see why you wanted mascara, girly. Those People are, so are gonna know I'm wearing mascara. It's that's, gonna be so obvious. That's okay. You're supposed to know you're wearing makeup. I mean, look at my eye makeup today. I'm wearing a lot. The other thing is, if you're kind of looking up like this, you're less likely to get mascara on your eyelid. If you're doing it while looking down, your lashes are closer to your eyelid. So kind of tilt your chin up. There you go. Oh, so envious. At least you're related to me. I can be next to the beautiful. Ava has a little bit of mascara here and a little bit of mascara here. We're going to let it completely dry and I'm going to show her my super easy tip that I learned from somebody else, but I will pass on the good knowledge. So this is from Tarte. This is the Maracuja Juicy Lip. Um, it's kind of like lip. Is this it's, 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 like, it's like a lip gloss in a stick form. So it's going to be glidey, moisturizing. I've heard really good things about this. I've been wanting one of these since they debuted more than a year ago. And I, I know. Mine? I know. Don't, don't try it. Hey, I just shared my YSL Rouge Volupte Shine with you. That's because you love me. I do. Okay. Okay. This, 
I can actually apply without help. This is one of those, it clicks. Oh. By the way, this only goes up, it doesn't go down. So you gotta, so you gotta click sparingly. And once you get it past the, hello, there you go. You don't wanna click too much. One or two clicks should be enough. If you feel like you're running into the plastic, give yourself an extra click. See, this is why I wanted it, because I needed something that's not... Because my lips are dry. Your lips are beautiful. You can either use a Q-tip or a dry, clean spoolie. I like this because I feel like it, it ends up rubbing it in less. So start on the inside corner here, hold this, and you're just going to use it to kind of scratch off the mascara. No, you got, it, you got it right on the inside of your nose, right there, baby. So at Ulta, they're doing this thing where it's like, oh yay, it's your birthday month, here are some free stuff. So I got free things because my birthday was yesterday and then I walked into the store the next day and oh yay, free stuff. So I've got a um, one step facial cleanse thing from Philosophy. I love the Purity Made Simple. It's a really um, lightweight, it won't overstrip your skin, but don't get addicted to it because it's expensive. Why is all the good stuff? You'll you'll learn that. Oh, and then I have a Tarte uh, mascara, little sample size, so birthday gifts. Um, and I don't think you've mentioned these things yet. Okay. And aside from the Tarte thing that you've already seen us use, we have some NYX um, like butter glosses. So I've got one in the shade Tiramisu and one in the shade Creme Brulee. Let's swatch these really quick. This right here is the Juicy Lip. This one is the shade, is that one? Creme Brulee. Creme Brulee. And this one here is? Tiramisu. Tiramisu. So we were looking for stuff. Ava was looking at a lip gloss from NYX and it was like $9.99. And I said, or you could get two of these for $5 each for the same price. Just like more. And I really like the Butter Gloss. I think the Butter Gloss is a really great, affordable, but comfortable lip product. So we have mostly glossy lips. And of course, because I'm my mother's daughter, this is what I got the most of when we went shopping. So <laughs> I passed on a bad trait to Gal Jr. here. <laughs> you are. Yes, yeah, so are. More it's like a lip gloss girl. I'm lip gloss girl. You are a lipstick gal. There we go. The one thing that Ava, I told her that it'd probably be best that you not use one of mine that's already been used is to get your own blending sponge. And so this one's only $6. I like the way I have, <laughs> mine's dirty, um, the, the little one that has a silicone bottom on it, I think that's great. But since she, you're not really wearing foundation, you don't wanna wear foundation, something like this would be great if you're blending in cheek products, like cream products, or just concealer as well. So that's the other thing. I think that's all you got. But yeah. she was looking at, at uh, makeup bags. They're, how much were they, 30 bucks? Oh, like $35, somewhere 40 and, and I was like, that's a lot. I said, I have plenty. You can have whatever you want, except for the Lisa Eldridge bags, because those are my favorite. Yes. So I have an Estee Lauder bag. Oh, Estee Lauder bag. I love this one. This one came in gift many years ago, but it's fun. I like the graphic print on it. And then, of course, because we always need more red in our lives. I grabbed this because it made me happy. It reminded me of a giant red purse. So this is the one that came uh, from Estee Lauder with their, um, their uh, like it has a little peppermint charm on it, their holiday blockbuster. So I thought this would be, like it's too big to be just for the amount of makeup she has, but if you're ever traveling and you need to, you know, one bag for the makeup, one bag for the brushes, and then you can put all the rest of your skincare and stuff in there. So those because are- Because we know skincare is gonna take yes. up a lot more room. So we didn't need brushes, we didn't need bags, we didn't need a pencil sharpener. I had all of those just waiting here for someone to love them. Thank you for loving them for me. Okay. Are you happy with the way this turned out? Oh yeah. I I feel like I didn't make too many mistakes that we couldn't fix. You so. didn't make any mistakes. You didn't make any. You you will continue to learn and you know, you'll you'll I'm always here to answer any questions that you want, but you're okay wearing this. You're okay not wearing makeup. Mm -hmm. But if you want to do more than this and you're something you want to try that you don't know how to do, Love you, Curly. You look so pretty. Thank you. Do you feel pretty? Of course I feel pretty. See, that's what we want. Always, always. Thank you so much for watching today. It was fun hanging out with my girl, going makeup shopping. I didn't ever think that we'd get to that point, but you're old enough now. I know, I know. I still think of her as like the little tiny kid, like the three-year-old. 
Read me a book, mommy. No, it's like, can I borrow your lipstick, mommy? <laughs> I would still like you for, to read me a book. Oh, sweetie. All right, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.